Hey guys, it's Coffee, and I'll be teaching you the best OBS and Vegas settings for Minecraft. Since Minecraft is a lightweight uh, platform, and it does not require a lot of resources to run it, since, you know, it's just a block game, as you can see, I'm receiving like at least 400-500 FPS, uh, like, you know, casually in the Skywars lobby. We, we can exploit this by recording high FPS videos in Minecraft with OBS. I recommend these settings if you have a good computer, such as me. I have like a, a GTX 1650 and i5 96k with a clock uh, 4.3 gigahertz. I, I recommend this for higher PCs because OBS takes a large cut of your takes a large cut of your performance. I, I can achieve the 600 FPS, but when I'm recording, I will dip down to like 300 or 400. We will be using the software OBS because we can adjust many aspects of the video that makes the video as smooth as possible that we may not be able to when we use a generic screen recorder such as um, Bandicam and Ice Cream Recorder. First, we'll be downloading OBS and I recommend the, I recommend this version 25.08 or whatever you say it even because it's the one that's compatible with the client and if you're not using work in client I would still recommend this because it is like the most stable version basically and you will get the least amount of crashes and you'll retain all most of your video files so we'll just download this here which we will just press a uh, the 64x but 86x if i don't know which one it's used for but i'm pretty sure it's 32x and 64x combined but we'll be using the 64x because most people you know have 64x computers i will not be you know downloading this because i already installed it and i'm like using it right now so now we have downloaded obs you just went through the whole process i will go through my settings and i will show you what I use and why I use it and you can pause the video whenever you like if you want to copy the settings so our first one will be an output and if you stream using this you can use CBR rate control because you can adjust it better but uh, for this for, for our purposes we'll go into your recording and I recommend putting type as a st advanced output type when you can and you know just put where you want to put your videos at and always record it mp4 because it's the best and for encoding i would put if you have a nvidia card it'll say this and always press a new because it's the most most latest and most stable or you know best and then for rate control i recommend using cqp for recording and a lot of people get this wrong and i did the i did too when i first use it High, higher CQ level means less quality, but uh, if you have less quality, you'll have like, you know, better stats when you're recording. I use 24 CQ because I have, you know, I have, you know, barely any loss of frames due to uh, encoding lag or rendering lag. But uh, the max I would go for is 15 because anything below that just increases the file size with no like noticeable quality uh, jumps. So for preset, I don't really understand this, but put max performance because you know it's good and key keyframe intervals just leave that to nothing. And use your height profile. Don't mess with these because you know I don't know what they I don't know what they do and neither should you. Just for audio, I would just recommend using what you use, and yeah. Uh, also, put a uh, sample rate for 88, 48 kilohertz, I don't know, and channel stereo. So, this is where the fun part becomes. So, if you're going to do it, if you're going to down outscale, you're like going to downscale or something, or upscale, use billionaire, or whatever you pronounce it. It's the best. It's the fastest, and for fraction and for FPS, put it the fractional FPS value. And if you went through sixth grade math, you would know this. If you put a number, a denominator as one, and put any number, 
it's going to equal that number. So basically, I'm recording in 240 FPS. And I, I always, and I mean always, record in numbers multiples of 60. Like 60, 120, 180, I mean, yeah, 180, 240, 300, 360, and so on and so forth. And always put the denominator as 1. Hotkeys, put what ho put the hotkeys as you like. I just put insert and delete from mine and nothing really, nothing else. Moving on from hotkeys, we'll go to advanced and I would not ra mess with it this uh, if I was you. But the only thing I would mess with is this the video. Just copy these settings down so you have like the best uh I mean the most accurate colors basically. And if you have encoding lag at off with OBS, just you know, I feel like these like turn yellow or red. Put processing normal, processing priority as below normal. That almost wraps up our OBS section. And now, if you want the best stats for you know OBS like lossless quality, you know zero. I have 0, 0.0 frames missing. Turn off enable preview. It's it's gonna save you a lot of you know frames. So, moving on from OBS we will be on vegas i recommend using vegas 15 but use the newer versions if you can so i will first go to uh new basically and basically you want to uh do these settings basically 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 so i want you to copy these settings um project properties change this to 60 because it's the best really Change this to 60. I don't know why I have that to a uh, few 40 because it just matched the my project. And make it pixel format 8 bits, full resolution qual rendering quality best, motion boot box. Don't put Gaussian, even though Gaussian's like the best, but just put box. And for resample mode, do start smart resample, not forest or disabled, because I don't know everything about smart resample, but I'm pretty sure smart resample like works with, you know. It puts one blur frame with every framer. I don't know. I don't really know the thing. And start new all new project with these settings. Put that check that. I don't know. I have, do not have that checked up. And for audio, copy these. Really, I won't mess with this because you know those are your keyframes basically. Summary and audio C. You don't have to you know mess. And now you have your video edit and everything. I presume you want to go to uh render as and i recommend always saving the video a couple times with different names and use magic avc or aac mp4 and you will go to this profile and i will show you this so for uh include video check that frame size custom frame size basically 920 by 1080 profile high always frame rate 60 fps maximum you're gonna do variable bitrate and you want to do 240 240k i mean i don't know the letter i don't know the word basically so you just want to copy this so they're the same and for encoder mode do nv if you have a nvidia card this will show and nvenc preset default and vbr a variable a variable bitrate i mean so for audio you know, do this. System, you know, keep it as MP4 and project. You want to do video render quality best. So, uh, if you want to upscale your video after you render this, I recommend using FFmpeg, but if you see, if you seem FFmpeg too difficult, and I would not do that in this video, but I'll link you a video which perfectly explains how to do it better than I can, because it was a pain for me to install it. But uh, if you want to cheap out and luck out, I don't recommend this, but you you can use uh, Sony Vegas to, you know, upscale this. And all you need to do is, you know, change the custom frame size from 920 by 1080 to 4K, which is 380, 40 to 2160. And just do everything else. So now you rendered it and you're good to go. All you need to do is upload, upload the, this to YouTube and... I recommend always, I, I mean always, upload the video the next morning, basically, or the afternoon, whenever you see is the best time. 
because if you don't watch a video going out with 360p no one will be able to see a thing basically so i would wait it out and wait until four your 4k videos out basically until you know so you have max quality so you guys got the best settings for your vegas and obs now you guys can pump out good video after good video and not make your quality look horrendous and take this as a note it only works for good computers if you have a bad computer i recommend not doing this at all i would use like a you know uh, lower settings if you want to try these settings at all and I want to also thank you guys for 200 subscribers it really meant a lot for me and it means a lot for me for you guys sticking at the end of this video which I thank you guys a lot for and I made an announcement on my discord server which is discord.io slash coffee you guys should really check it out and like this like you know basically summarizes what I said and but either way thank you guys thank you guys all I mean and I hope you guys enjoyed the montage at the end, smiley face.